All right, let's get this thing going. Uh, my name is Marco. I'm with JetCityStream.com. We're a live local radio station focused on Seattle bands. A big thanks to Vitamin Water for helping us put this event on. Some great performances this weekend. Oh, uh, plus the folks from Google+. Plus. Thank you to those guys as well. Uh, some great performances. Damn, we have the Absolute Monarchs up here the other day. Just tearing things up. Flyman Royalty play. Uh, the performances have been going on all week. Uh, or all weekend, rather. Downstairs at 6.30, we're gonna have the third ever performance from a band called Walking Papers, featuring Barrett Martin from uh, Screaming Trees and Mad Season. Yeah. Yeah. Duff McKagan, you guys know him, he's the Grand Poobah of Seafair. And uh, he's in a, he used to be in a band called The Fastbacks and Guns N' Roses. He's currently in a band called Loaded. Uh, and Jefferson Angel, who uh, is, used to be in a band called post Depression. He's going to be up here as well. It's their third ever show, so I'm looking forward to this. All right, it's day number three. I'm toast. Capitol Hill Block Party, Jet City Stream. Uh, the first time I heard this gentleman that I'm going to introduce to you right now, it, this song that I heard is a song called Two More Minutes and it stuck out as just this very poignant, beautiful, sort of sick love song in a way. And uh, I couldn't, <laughs> I, it, it, at that point I just started bugging him because I felt like the song was a hit. A lot of cool things are going on for this guy right now. Um, he's had record labels sort of climbing his tree over the last month. KXP did a big thing on him. He's been. He's been doing a lot of different press. We're playing him in heavy, heavy rotation right now. Make some noise, James McFarlane. How's it going, guys? You guys having a fun time roaming around there amongst all the madness? We're gonna play a couple songs for you guys. Once again, my name is James McFarlane. This first song is called Raining Bricks, and uh, it's dedicated to a friend of mine that passed away. Her name is Carly Henley. I heard an old train broke down. Just right outside of town They say she's a lonely one though Sits outside in the rain and thunder But I see lightning touch the ground when she stops fighting That's when her train broke down Hold on for love Hold on for love She keeps trying to find her fix But it won't stop raining bricks knock on my door Yeah, a sound I've never heard before But she says every town is dead Yeah, it took me coming here Because my train is never late Hold on Keep trying to find your fix, but it won't stop raining. She keeps trying to find her fix, but it won't stop raining. I've been in the same boat before, 
And I felt this hole in the floor I felt the water rushing in Nothing to do but sink If you can't swim Yeah, I heard an old train and broke down Yeah, just right outside of town They say she's a lovely wonder Dances in the rain and thunder Hold on for love Hold on Trying to find her fix, but it won't stop raining. You keep trying to find your fix, but it won't stop raining, Briggs. Thank you. Uh, this next song we're gonna do is called Two More Minutes. Uh, usually it's kind of a it's kind of a bigger song, um, but we're gonna do it kind of stripped down acoustic style, so. And I'll be there Filling my empty head With pictures of you bare A breath to take home with me Take your oxygen Slowly while you breathe And all the days in between yeah, you're still my drug of choice The figure of my dreams And though we wait for now Even through the noise I feel you somehow I don't want nobody else You lift me off of the ground you all to myself please don't ever let me down oh no two more minutes and I won't care that I broke my back today but all my people stare cause once I get you in my arms the ice will start to break The day will fade away I don't want nobody else You lift me off of the ground I want you all to myself Please don't ever let me down Oh no And all the days in between You're still my drug of choice The figure of my dreams I don't want nobody else You lift me off of the ground I want you all to myself Please don't ever let 
let me down oh oh please don't ever let me down please don't ever let me down we got one more song for you guys It's called Turning Red. She tells me she's all I've got She shows me what is and what's not She bribes these walls around me With seductive payments from my guides Oh no, oh She's the mother of my breed The perfect cover for my knee love me all night but i think i might be dead she's a shape shift a change of color potent poison to discover angels glow white but my darling's turning red She doesn't just take over your mind Yeah, black magic and a hot trigger that's ready to be fired A burning bridge is only just collateral I'm telling you, I am telling you Oh no, oh She's a mother of my breed, the perfect Cover for my knee, love me all night, but I think I might be dead. She's a shape shift, a change of color, potent poison to discover angels glow white, but my darling's turning red. But I awoke from a beautiful dream. was nothing like I have heard or seen no oh, oh. it was something too clear my thickly veiled mind yeah and leave all this trouble Leave them behind. Oh no. She's the mother of my breed, the perfect cover for my need. Love me all night, but I think I might be dead. She's a shape shift, a change of color, potent poison to discover angels glow white. But my darling's turning red Oh no Yeah Oh She's a shape shift a change of color Potent poison to discover Angels glow white But my darling's turning red Thanks so much. James McFarlane, make some noise. Jet City Stream Session. Uh, why don't you, uh, I've forgotten your name. Jason. Jason, awesome work. Thank you for being here, you guys. 
Um, and it's interesting, you didn't actually have a show at the block party. We just asked you to come out to this little session here. Um, James, so I wanted to, uh, I feel like I almost know too much about you now because we started playing your track and you and I kind of got to become friends over the last month. Um, but I'm gonna dig into some of the stuff that we had talked about. Two more minutes of very different sounding song. It's almost got uh, electronic, I'm gonna say it, and I know that every time I say it, you react negatively. No problem. Dubstep, sort of a, a wobble to it. Um, was that song written on an acoustic guitar, or was that song written on keyboards? Actually, it was written, um, just, I was doing a little private session, you know, just in the, my studio in my house, and I was just messing around with some effects, and I had just uh, recovered from a tonsillectomy, as you know, yeah. and I was like, I gotta, I really gotta get some. After you had your tonsils yeah, out, I had to get some of that inspiration that had been building up out. Right. So, just some sounds and it was written originally on guitar, actually. Okay. So. So is most of the stuff that you write, because I know that you know I've seen a lot of stuff on YouTube, performances and things that you've done, and most of the stuff is acoustic. Uh, but right. this song has gotten you almost way more attention than anything you've done your entire career. Right? That's I mean, correct, um, yes. Is that kind of a weird line to walk all of a sudden? I mean, there's guitar in the song, but it's very heavily electronic. Right. Is it sort of like people discovering you, do they expect you to be one thing and you feel like maybe you're something else? Uh, I don't think it's very weird. I mean, it's not surprising. Um, I feel like it has a very contemporary feel, you know, yeah. with what, everything that's going on right now. And, um, I kind of said to myself when I made it, I was like, huh, okay, that's a little different. But at the same time, I was like, I could, I, I like this, you know. I, it's not something that I don't, I wouldn't enjoy playing. I don't feel like I am um, kind of selling myself short by changing a direction. It was just something that happened really naturally, and I, I was like, hey, this is cool, so. You gotta run with it. And I like the fact that the song is so sparse, too. I mean, I think that that's like, right. it's a very, like, you know, you could probably build a million other elements on that song, but you kept it stripped down, which to me adds to the almost spookiness of the song. Did you intend it to almost be a little spooky, or is that just how it came out? It was out? a little, when I first started making it, it was definitely a little spooky, a little like, haunting spooky either way, um, and I like that about it. I, I like spooky music if it's in that, you know, in that respect. Yeah. You so. tend to like the dark, you, 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 but it's interesting. You like the pop stuff and you like dark stuff at the same time. That's Your true. tastes are all over the board. Um, when this song came out, uh, Jet City Stream started playing it in heavy rotation. As I understand it, other radio stations in Seattle started playing it soon thereafter. And I'm wondering what's happened since the release of that song for you. I know what's happened, but I'm asking you to tell them what's happened. A lot of things uh, have happened. I mean. I've been playing for a long time, you know, yeah. six to eight years, probably solid. And um, nothing really had happened previous to this year. Um, and after I had my talent selected me and made this song, it just really, it was able to take what I was bringing to the table, combine it with some contemporary sounds. And then you just know it's something I really liked. And um, so, you know, the, the booking email is full. So that's good. That's amazing. <laughs> Now, uh, can we tell people what's going on with the particular certain record label that's reached out to you, or should we just I, keep I that on the I couldn't say specifically, okay. but I could say that, um, say that a lot of good <laughs> things have been said. Yeah. So, somebody's Shut your mouth. No, I'm just kidding. They, there's, there's a particular major <laughs> record label, uh, VP of A&R, that will not stop calling you. We won't name the label, Atlantic Records, but <laughs> <laughs> I think it's awesome. And uh, I wish you a, an amazing career, and I think that thank you uh, very much that you've got uh, a lot of potential, dude. It's very cool, and thank you very much for coming up and being a part of this. Thanks for having us, James McFarland. Make some noise again. Thank you so much for listening. It's a Jet City Stream session. Uh, just a couple of people to thank again, Mr. Joe Hamill for uh, getting this thing set up for us. That guy worked his butt off. Uh, vitamin water. Couldn't have done it without those guys. Thank you very much to Vitamin Water. Google Plus, our boy Zach here on the uh, camera, who's waving everybody out of the way. Uh, so in a minute, we've been, we've been filming these sessions all weekend long. You'll be able to hear 
the audio on JetCityStream.com all this week. Tomorrow, 3.30, I'm going to air our exclusive interview with Macklemore that we did, Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, about their brand new single, Same Love. That's going to happen tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. on Jet City Stream. And coming up at 6.30, downstairs, we're moving everything down now, is the... Uh, the last Jet City Stream session for the block party. And I am freaking excited about this. Travis Hay from Gorilla Candy Blog is excited about this. It's a brand new band, the th third time the band's ever played. They're playing downstairs. They're called Walking Papers. Jefferson Angel, Barrett Martin, don't look at me and laugh, and Duff McKagan downstairs at 6.30. Thanks for coming out. We're Jet City Stream. <laughs>